Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Smitty here again. Um, just going back, doing a little revisit here. Um, talking about Madden, you know, and seeing how flawed the game has been since I made a video. You know, I got a video here. I just want everybody to take a look at. You know, I did a video I uh, shown uh, before. This is this is what you know Madden has said or pushed or heavily promoted what the next gen was supposed to be you know this is this was supposed to be the next generation of Madden football games this is what it was supposed to look like you know and thus far EA has failed to a high degree to what this game should be looking like you know they came out and they said that this game you know that um, with having the with having the next generation, you know, game was going to be taken to a new level, but this game has been lackluster in terms of presentation, in terms of game game quality, gameplay, animation-wise, just all together. The effort has not shown up as of yet. You know what I'm saying? So this is this is what that was what what was supposedly going to be the next generation of football games what it was supposed to look like which Madden has completely lied on thus far they have um I have seen many videos and as a consumer you know I feel pretty bad honestly I feel bad for the for the fanboys especially as well as for all the other consumers that put put out that shell out the 60 bucks you know each year for this game and the game has not been nearly up to par as of yet you know um this game has been lackluster at best you know um and it has been pointed out by ryan moody uses like ryan moody 21 uh, apex is free and also versus two you know those are ones that i usually look at in particular especially versus two he has pointed out the many 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 glitches he's pointed out some very serious glitches that hinder this game and it's and the thing is whenever he would post a video response on either operation sports or on the ea sports blog sites they straight kick him off and honestly that's that's not fair like you should be able as a consumer whether it's him or whoever it is you should be able to let them know hey I'm paying the money for you guys to put out a quality game and you guys talk up they keep talking up that they're putting this tight game out that's gonna have all these gameplay features and they're fixing all these things supposedly and they don't fix anything they just put together whatever they choose to and just throw it out there you know and say here it is you know you just gonna have to make do I believe that you should be you should be responsible they should be held accountable you know um I seen one of Ryan Moody his uh one of his last videos where uh, Ian Cummings or one of the associates that work with Ian Cummings were basically saying that how it puts them into a depression or puts them into a funk when they see that people are responding negatively and they're getting so much negative flat from everyone around the community about how the game is is how the game sucks and how bad this is and how all these aspects aren't looking right in the football game well just like what moody said stop pumping the game up stop t stop saying stop saying that the game is one thing when it really isn't you know you come out here and you put these games out and you constantly you know you constantly give a lot of lip service but you never produce you know, it's I like the, the the wildest thing is you had a game in two thousand four and two thousand five, and I'm speaking of Madden 04 and Madden 05 respectively, which you had the formula correct. The gameplay is where you guys have been lacking at, and the gameplay was on point. It just needed a few minor fixes and tweaks. And then you go to the next generation where all you needed to do was translate that gameplay and take it to the next level. Y'all didn't even y'all couldn't even do that. And the thing is, it's not that you guys couldn't do it, it's just that you chose not to do it. You chose to come out here and put out a lackluster game regardless. You didn't give a care about what the fans about what the fans needed. All y'all looked at was dollar signs and y'all came out talking to talk, but ain't nobody walking the walk. 
You know what I'm saying? And 2K, like I said, you you had 2K steadily approaching, steadily getting on your heels, and instead of you guys stepping up to the plate, you guys you guys you know punked out and went ahead and just monopolized. So then y'all could be the only ones to make a football game, and y'all have yet to have fully utilized the NFL license in the way that you should have. I mean, the game has been horrible from 06 all the way up to now. 2K5 is the best game that's out there, and 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 it's and um All Pro 2K8. It's not the greatest feature-wise, but in terms of a gameplay experience, that is how football should be done in a respective manner, where attributes, where where physical attributes are respected, where positioning is respected. There's not all this slipping and sliding all over the field, you know, slipping and sliding animations, the, you know, these fake, these, these falsified animations, this flawed pro system that you guys have has been horrendous. And you, that should be, that should have been something put back to the drawing board. Like, you guys need to go all the way back to the drawing board. You know what I'm saying? Because if you were going to come out with a game that even resembled anything close to this next-gen promotion, that would take a few years of dedication to put that kind of game out there. Like Backbreaker. Backbreaker, if they do that game right, that's going to set a new standard for the way a football game should be made. That's just going to be, it's going to be on taking things to a new level, a uh, completely next generation of football gaming right there. Madden has not been doing it, they have not been doing it right for a long time, and they have been playing people, like I said, left and right. And you have multiple videos out here, multiple people telling you where the gameplay aspects are all wrong and when you come up to update the game seeing how people are responding and saying there are all these gameplay issues going on the updates that you choose to do are uh what is it adding new modes and i mean not adding new modes but yeah you're 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 adding different views different presentation views and instant replay fixes or whatever it is you choose to fix all these cosmetics these cosmetic features but you need to get to the bulk get to the meat of the matter which is your gameplay where it has been hindered it's been horrible over these past over these past at least four or five years it's been horrendous and it's sad like i said honestly what i do i just went on ahead picked up nfl 2k5 which is only what like two three bucks and go on to NFL2K5Rosters.com. Got to give them a shout out. And they and go ahead and update the rosters that way for this year. For the 9 season. And just play it that way. I'm better off that way. And I'm, I'm not spending 60, 60 bucks. You know what I'm saying? And I just could keep updating it. And I'll go and rent Madden. Or whatever. If I choose to. And go and see what. And, and, and that will let you know what a real football game is. That is how a football game, you know, should play. It should at least look like that. The controls for the game aren't the greatest. But at the same time, that is a respectable football game in every aspect. From the presentation, from the pregame to the post, from the pregame to the halftime show to the to the postgame. You see what I'm saying? Every, and everything in between. The action is on point. The interactions are on point. Procedural awareness is 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 um, counted. It is a variable. It is a factor. Madden had Madden has issues with procedural awareness, where Ian talked up and said how that's going to be addressed. This pro tax system, which is horrendously flawed, where they do not they they have yet to have addressed it. You know what I'm saying? So. It's that sad, and I mean, one little sidebar thing I just have to say. One thing I can say for 2K Sports in respect, even though the first patch they did, they addressed a lot of gameplay issues. They just didn't come out and do a lot of cosmetic stuff. They addressed a lot of gameplay issues with that very first update. They did a whole lot of fixing in that one update because they pay attention to the community. Now, there are some other things they got to fix, of course, but they pay attention to what the community says instead of just coming out here and deleting and kicking users off. They pay attention to the consumers. You know what I mean? So, 
Nothing, but to end things, man, y'all got to get it together. It's extremely disappointing to see what you guys have put out here so far. Um, like I said, anybody post comments, you have any response videos, I welcome them all. Uh, like I said, just get at me. You know, EA, like I said, get it right. Ian Cummins, I don't know what you've been doing, but you need to get off that stuff and get your head in the game and pay attention to what the consumers are trying to tell you instead of ignoring them and dissing them and acting like you're depressed. Get it together then and put together a quality game and you'll be straight. Alright, it's your boy Smitty signing out. Peace.